Greetings from Vienna and a warm welcome to the EHF Beach Handball Draw event. Today we will find out the groups for the EHF Yak 16 Beach Handball Euro and EHF Beach Handball Championships, which will take place in Varna, Bulgaria this summer. But before we start with the draw procedure, I will give the floor to a couple of guests to greet everyone with a few welcoming words. Therefore, I will first welcome the European Handball Federation President Michael Widerer on stage here with us. Dear handball friends and especially dear beach handball friends, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to represent the European Handball Federation on the occasion of this draw. I think we all can see how professional this sport is getting, having even a microphone branded for, uh, for beach handball. Uh, we are really looking forward to the to the draw results, but more to the upcoming events this summer in Bulgaria in Varna. And I really appreciate the involvement of the Bulgarian Handball Federation in the organization of such important events of the European Handball Federation. What remains is to wish the draw event but as well the preparations for the upcoming event, all the best. And with this, I give the floor back to Simona. Thank you, Mr. Widerer. Um, I will warmly welcome also the president of the Bulgarian Handball Federation, Rosen Dobrev, to also greet everyone who is watching us. Dear Mr. Widerer, dear Gabi, dear Handball friends, we are extremely happy that Bulgaria and the city of Dvarna will also again host Beach Handball Euro 2024 for youth and championship for men and women. After the successful European Beach Handball Championship in 2021, the team of the Bulgarian Handball Federation is making efforts to hold an even better championship. This fact that beach handball this year will be part of the Olympic Games in Paris as a demonstration motivates us even more of the organization. Thank you once again to European Handball Federation to nominate in the Bulgarian Handball Federation organization Beach Handball Euro 2024. We are waiting for you in Varna. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dobrev. And with this, we are only a few minutes away from the draw. But before we move to the draw procedure, let's take a look at what waits for us on the beach handle courts in Bulgaria this summer. <laughs> And with this, we have come to the most interesting part of today's event, the draw. We will start with the draw for the Yak 16 EHF Beach Handball Euro, which will take place in Varna from 4 to 7 July. 18 teams in women's competition and 16 teams in men's competition are divided into six and four pots respectively, based on the EHF Beach Handball Nations ranking, which is taking into consideration the national team results of the last three years and ranking at the European Beach Handball Championships, both senior and younger age categories. Bulgaria, as the host country, will have the right to choose in which group they want to be placed in all four draws, so the pots with Bulgaria in it will be drawn the last. 
The draw will be conducted by the European Handball Federation Chief Sports Officer Markus Glaser, Chairwoman of the Beach Handball Commission Gabriela Horvat and President of the Bulgarian Handball Federation Rosen Dobrev. So without any further ado, I will give the floor to, to Markus, Gabriela and Rosen. Thank you very much, Simona, for the introduction. Um, I think a lot of information was provided, the different teams, the different pots, uh, via all our information channels. So I am sure that all the beach handball fans and all the other handball fans that are watching us live uh, can understand what we are doing. The draw is uh, easy going. There is no country protection. There is no countries which cannot be drawn together. So we can have a easy to follow system. And I think we are almost ready to go. Throughout the complete draw, we will always start with a red ball. The red balls have the teams. So we take first a red ball and then we take a blue ball. The blue balls have the positions or the groups, if you may say so. I will lead through the different steps of the draws, but as I already said, easy going, and I think uh, we are ready to start, and we can uh, start with the first pot of the women's yak si uh, 16 younger age category, as we call it, um, for the girls. Okay, so we are ready to take the first team. So we start with the team of the Netherlands, first team from pot one. The Netherlands go to group C, of course, on position number one in group C. The next team is Spain. Spain takes position number one in group A. So it's group A for Spain. And to finish, it is Germany. There is one group left for Germany, which is group B. So it's Germany on position one in group B. Now we are going to change the pots and get the pots for pot number two, which has the teams of Hungary, Norway and Portugal. And we are simply going to repeat the procedure. Once again, as I said before, the teams are always in the red balls and the groups are always in the blue balls. So first team in from pot number two is Norway. Norway goes to group C, joining the Netherlands. Next up is Hungary. Hungary 
goes to group B and will meet Germany. And then it is Portugal. Portugal takes group A and meets neighboring Spain. So we concluded pot one and two and move on with pot number three, which has the teams of France, Poland and the Ukraine. And the first team from pot number three is Poland. Poland going to group B. France France joins group A and goes together with Spain and Portugal the Ukraine there is one position left in row number three and that is group C for the Ukraine so we are halfway three through we concluded pots number one, two and three and we are ready to go on with pot number four which has the teams of Croatia, Romania and Sweden. And we start with the team of Sweden Sweden going to group A in row 4, meeting Spain, Portugal and France. We move on with Romania. Romania goes to group B. And then the last team in pot four is Croatia. Croatia goes to group C where they will have to play against the Netherlands, Norway and the Ukraine. Now we have Bulgaria as the host in pot number five. Bulgaria will later on have the right to choose the group where they will be placed. We therefore jump over pot number five and we do now 
pot number six, which has the teams of Serbia, Switzerland and Slovakia. And here we start with Slovakia. And the group for Slovakia is group C. Then Serbia. Serbia goes to group B. And the remaining team in pot number six is Switzerland. And Switzerland goes to Group A. It's the one in which Bulgaria, Turkey and Czechia are seeded. And as the host nation has the right to choose in which group they want to be placed, we will give them a few moments to take a decision. In Group A, we have Spain, Portugal, France, Sweden and Switzerland. In Group B, we have Germany, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Serbia. In Group C, we have Netherlands, Norway, Ukraine, Croatia and Slovakia. We are still waiting for Bulgaria to decide in which group they want to be placed. And Bulgaria has decided that they want to be placed in group B. So Bulgaria will complete group B and Czechia and Turkey will have to be drawn to group A and group C respectively. So I will give the floor once again to Markus, Gabriela and Rosen to draw the remaining two teams. So we have the team of Bulgaria in group B and as it was just announced group B therefore is complete. And we have now the teams of Czechia and Turkey, which are left to be decided whether they go in either Group A or in Group C, as Group B is already occupied by the hosts, Bulgaria. So we are again taking a red team and find out where the two remaining teams will go. So the first of the two remaining teams in pot number five is Czechia. Czechia has only two groups available and Czechia is drawn to group A. And the very last of the 18 teams is the team of Turkey. And Turkey takes the last remaining position, which is row number five in group C. And with Turkey, we have concluded the draw for the women's younger age category 16. 
As Marco said, Turkey and Czechia have completed the draw for the Yak 16 EHF Beach Handball Euro in women's competition. In Group A, we have Spain, Portugal, France, Sweden, Czechia, and Switzerland. In Group B, we have Germany, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, and Serbia. In Group C, we have the Netherlands, Norway, Ukraine, Croatia, Turkey, and Slovakia. We will now continue with the draw for the men's competition. The same rules as in women's competition will apply in the men's draw too. Uh, we have 16 teams divided into four pots. Pot four, where Bulgaria is placed, will be drawn the last as the host country once again has the right to choose in which group they want to be placed at the Yak Euro. So let's draw the teams from pot one, two and three. Thank you very much for this. Basically, we are ready. The procedure is the same. We shuffle the balls. The four balls are the teams and the blue balls are the groups and we are ready to start. <coughs> so, first team, Spain. Spain takes position number one in group B. We go on with Hungary. Hungary goes to Group A. Then we have the team of Germany. Germany goes to the top position in Group D. Croatia. Croatia takes the remaining position in pop number one, which is group C. And with this we concluded pot number one. <coughs> and we will continue with the same procedure for pot number two, which has the teams of Norway, Poland, Portugal and Sweden. <coughs> and the first team in pot number two is Poland. And Poland goes to Group C. They will meet Croatia. Next up is Norway.
Norway goes to position number two in group B and they will have to face Spain. Then we have the team of Sweden. And Sweden goes to group A and meets Hungary. Portugal Portugal goes to the last open group which is group D and they will play Germany so we did Port number one, and we did port number two of the men's Yak 16 championships Euro, and we are now ready to continue in the same way with port number three. In port number three, we have the teams of Czechia, France, Romania, and the Ukraine. And we start with the team of Romania. And Romania goes to group A. They will play Hungary and Sweden. The Ukraine is the next team from pot number three. And the group for the Ukraine is group C. And they will face Croatia and Poland. We continue with the team of Czechia. Czechia joins group B. They will play Spain and Norway. And to conclude port number three, it's France. France takes group D, port number three facing Germany and Portugal. Pot, pot number four is a pot where we have Bulgaria, Serbia, Switzerland and Turkey. And as already mentioned during the women's draw, Bulgaria has the right to choose in which group they want to be placed. So we will give them a couple of minutes. Not needed because they already decided that they go to group A. So Bulgaria will be placed in group A together with Hungary, Sweden and Romania. For the themes of Serbia, Switzerland and Turkey, we will continue with the draw procedure.
In Group C we have Croatia, Poland and Ukraine so far. In Group B we have Spain, Nor Norway and Czechia. And in Group D we have Germany, Portugal and France. And I think we are ready to draw the remaining three teams from Pot 4. So, as Bulgaria chose Group A, we have consequently only three teams and three groups left, which we are now going to draw in the same way as we did before. Please. <coughs> So it's the team of Serbia. Serbia takes position number four in group C. They meet Croatia, Poland and the Ukraine. We continue with Switzerland. Switzerland goes to group D. They meet Germany, Portugal and France. And we are concluding this part of the draw, this competition, with the team of Turkey. There is one position left for Turkey, which is Group B. So they are going on Group B, position 4. And that concludes this part of the draw. Four groups for the men's Yak 16 EHF Beach Handball Euro um, are here. In Group A, we have Hungary, Sweden, Romania, Bulgaria. In Group B, we have Spain, Norway, Czechia, and Turkey. In Group C, Croatia, Poland, Ukraine, and Serbia. And in Group D, the teams of Germany, Portugal, France, and Switzerland will meet. We will now continue with the draw for the EHF Beach Handball Championships, which serve as the qualification tournament for the EHF Beach Handball Euro 2025. We will continue the same round down. First, we draw the teams for the women's competition, continued by the teams in the men's competition. Twelve teams in women's competition will be drawn into two groups, with pot number four, where we have Bulgaria and Italy being drawn the last, as Bulgaria once again has the right to choose in which group they want to be placed. So without any further ado, let's start with the draw for the women's EHF Beach Handball Championship. So consequently, as we have only two groups of six teams each, we are doing one pot after another. There are only two teams in one pot. Therefore, we only have two red balls with the teams and two groups which are in the blue balls with the positions. We will do one pot after another. Once again, there are no rules that we have to observe or consider. Any team can go anywhere and we are freely drawing all the six pots with the exception, as already mentioned, in pot four. Bulgaria will have the chance to decide whether they want to be placed in group A or in group B. And I think with this, we are ready to start. So the first team of the Women's EHF Beach Handball Championships is Hungary. And Hungary goes to group B. The second team in pot one 
is the team of Poland. Poland goes to Group A. So that was quick, as we have only two teams, two in two, two groups. We have Poland in Group A, Hungary in Group B, and we are already on the way to do the same procedure for pot number two, which has the teams of France and the Ukraine. And here the first team is France. France going to group B and they will play Hungary. Then it's the Ukraine. The Ukraine taking position number two in group A and they will play Poland. So we did pot number one and two. We have Poland and the Ukraine in group A and Hungary and France in group B. And we will see now the decisions for Croatia and Sweden, which are the two teams in pot three. And we will continue right away. First team, Croatia. Croatia joins Group A, Poland and the Ukraine. So Croatia goes to position number three. That means that Sweden Sweden will join group B and meet Hungary and France. As it was announced in the introduction for this competition, Bulgaria is in pot 4 according to the ranking. They will later on have the right to choose their group. Therefore, we go over pot number 4, leave it on the side and continue with pot number 5, which has the teams of Czechia and Turkey. And here the first team is Turkey. Turkey goes to group A, meets Poland, the Ukraine and Croatia. Then it is Czechia. Czechia consequently goes to Group B. So that was pot number five. We have 
pot number six coming up with the two teams of Switzerland and Slovakia. They will be drawn to either group A or group B on position or in row number six. First team here is Switzerland. And the group for Switzerland is Group A. Then it is Slovakia. Slovakia going to group B. Two teams from pot four, Bulgaria and Italy, still have to be placed in group A and group B respectively. And while Bulgaria takes a moment to decide, Bulgaria takes group A in the Women's Beach Humble Championship. So Bulgaria will go to Group A and consequently Italy <coughs> will be placed in Group B. Let's take a look at, all, uh, at both groups. In Group A we have Poland, Ukraine, Croatia, Bulgaria, Turkey and Switzerland. In Group B we have Hungary, France, Sweden, Italy, Czechia and Slovakia. This concludes the draw for the Women's EHF Beach Handball Championship in Varna and we will now continue with the men's draw. In men's draw we have 10 teams in the men's competition which will be drawn again to two groups and the same procedure as in all three previous draw, the pot in which Bulgaria is seated, pot number four, will be drawn the last as Bulgaria has the right to choose the group. So without any further ado, let's start with the one or last remaining draw. So we are well on the way. We have one competition to go. The procedure remains unchanged. Here we have only five pots which are divided into group A and B. Therefore, of course, we have two balls in the teams and two balls in the positions in the groups. We start with pot one, which has the teams of Norway and Sweden, and we will find out if they are going to either group A or to group B. So we start with the team of Norway. Norway is drawn to group B and takes position 1. Then we have Sweden. Sweden goes to Group A. So that was pot number one. We decided the positions of Sweden and Norway and will now continue with pot number two, which has France and Poland. And the first team here is the team of Poland. Poland takes position number two in group A and joins Sweden.
then we have France France goes to group B and will play Norway So that was part two. We have Sweden and Poland in group A and Norway and France in group B. And we will move on to part number three, which has the teams of the Ukraine and of Czechia. So we start with Czechia. Czechia goes to group B, meeting Norway and France. It's to Ukraine. Ukraine consequently going to group A, row number three, and their opponents will be Sweden and Poland. So once again, we have the situation that Bulgaria is seeded in pot number four. Therefore, we will leave pot number four in the side and move directly to pot number five, which has Turkey and Malta. And we will see now uh, the, uh, the, the groups of Turkey and Malta in row number five. So it is Turkey. Turkey going to group A, meeting Sweden, Poland and the Ukraine. Then it's the team of Malta. Malta going to group B and their opponents will be Norway, France and Czechia. Once again we have two teams left to be placed in group A and group B teams from pot 4 those are Bulgaria and Italy and Bulgaria is quick on deciding today they chose group B and will go in the group with Norway, France, Czechia and Malta which means that Italy will be placed in group A with Sweden, Poland, Ukraine and Turkey. Let's take a quick look at the last two groups drawn today. The groups for the men's EHF Beach Handball Championships are now completed. And with this, we have come to the end of today's event. We are sure that there are interesting clashes waiting for us on the Beach Handball courts in Varna this summer. So stay tuned. We wish you a nice afternoon and thank you for watching the draw.